7.30 a.m. I'm in a brand new Porsche Sport Classic and I'm heading up the Bonina Pass. This is a very nice way to start my day. So I'm here on an event with Porsche Switzerland and the hotel just happened to be 10 minutes away from this pass which I've not driven for a very long time. So we've got up nice and early, head up this small pass for a first drive in this rather nice Sport Classic. My first experience driving one and the first time I've ever seen one live. Manual seven speed gearbox. This one in this configuration will set you back a cheeky 340,000 Swiss francs. And already people are selling them for way more than what they actually cost, but whatever. I just want to get out and get an experience in what is a very special and interesting car. So later on, we're going to go snow drifting and other things happening. But right now, I just wanted to get out by myself, have a nice morning mountain pass drive, which I've been really missing because of winter. Although, as you can see, there are some small passes still open. It does sound good, first impressions. And <laughs> it goes. <laughs> it is quick. This interior as well is very out there. Looks like cognac and pepita mix. I think it looks fantastic, to be honest. It's a lot going on with these two colors and then black all up here as well. And then you've got green lighting on the dashboard. A lot going on, but it does look very cool. I have definitely missed driving Porsches up mountain passes. This is something that I've been thinking a lot about the last couple of weeks, especially. Just brilliant. What a car. <laughs> Plenty of power, enough power for a manual gearbox, let's say that. pass very cool road not the best condition as you can see <laughs> surfaces is quite bumpy compared to other Swiss mountain passes but nonetheless oh, still <laughs> a nice bumpy place to be and there's the Sun here we are at the top Wow what a view. <sighs> Spectacular. are cool just 
just tiring to put on. Yeah. Uh, I used to be a flight attendant. Really? We always had those. Yeah. So you're going to serve me drinks halfway up? <laughs> In your dreams. You did, <laughs> you did not book business. <laughs> I don't know what class this it's, is. It's Echo Flex. <laughs> A very spontaneous drive now in the Cayenne S Trans-Siberia, is that right? That is right. Uh, this was uh, completely unplanned and obviously I was not going to say no to this. But it's creaky in here. It's like a haunted house. <laughs> it looks like a haunted house. I have Anna with me and this is a very weird experience. Always wanted to try one of these. So how is it so far as a, a co-driver? It's really good. It's cool, right? I feel very safe due to these yeah, definitely. Uh, belts. Yeah. yeah, so we just jumped out of the, is it the Cayenne GTS? Yes. Which was a very soft ride <laughs> compared to this. This is super, super. Mostly due to me driving. <laughs> Your driving is great. <laughs> it's got the V8 up the front, so it sounds fantastic. And super surprised how good it goes around these corners. I mean, obviously, it was built to be driven fast. Like this is super cool. Wow. I absolutely love this car. <laughs> Training in Samadan. Samadan. So hi, I'm Neil Johnny. I've been racing for Porsche the last 10 years, winning the 24 hours of Le Mans and the World Endurance Championship. But today we're on a slip. Nice. Here, slip so here. I'm in good hands, yes. I would say. <laughs> yes. So um, you're going to show me how to do this. We are in the only real drive Porsche on here. So now we're That's set. Okay. Good. So everything is off. Okay, that feels quite different. Oh, oh look at that, look at that. <laughs> okay, if you spun it, what does that mean I'm gonna do? What did we say? <laughs> what did we say? The, the car's talking to us. <laughs> Porsche, we are not talking to you. No, 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 no. Okay. Okay, so what we did, what I did wrong is, mm -hmm. I went too quick in. Because oh. this is obviously just rear wheel drive. Mm -hmm. um, that's no excuse for the spin, obviously. Oh. But <laughs> yeah, it's a good excuse. I mean, that's the excuse I would use. Yeah, because with the other ones, if I didn't go as quick in, yeah. with the four wheel drive, you yeah. wouldn't get the slide. Ah, you wouldn't course, get the drift. Yeah. Yeah. Now with this one, we can go a lot slower. Yeah, sure. And we need to actually downsize, down speed, everything. Yeah. yeah. To not turn it uh, down a notch. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So it's turning in and then. With the brake. And then oh, you touch, turn in. Touch, to, yeah. touch the brake so the car gets unstable. Okay. And then it will go into the flick. Yeah. So as you touch the brake, you then turn the yeah, opposite so, direction. So you go yeah. right. Yeah. And then you brake. And okay. then the car gets unstable. Yeah. And then you turn left 
for the flick, yeah? Okay. Easy. And you played with the throttle. Okay. I think yeah. Go, yeah. So, starting is just... Keeps it in it into second gear. It is ice, yeah, exactly. Okay. Good. Come on. I can do this. Touch the yeah. brake. Yeah. No flick now. And too much throttle. You're gone. I'm gone. <laughs> Damn it. In. Turn right. Yeah. Brake. Oh, no flick. <laughs> I already felt it. There. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and you're gone. It annoyed me. You knew, but even before it got to the corner. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> so frustrating. Right. In the 992 Turbo S, more power, full drive. That's. I have always an excuse as well for when we'll it goes wrong. With 50. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's go. 50. It is okay. 50 it is, let's try, a bit faster. Oh, that was a bit better. <laughs> I may have taken out a couple of codes. 